Hey guys, it's Fear to Me here, and welcome back to Shin Life Noob to Pro. I've been doing a lot of grinding as you're about to see, but before we actually get into the video, I have to talk about our sponsor, Collect Robux. Users can use Collect Robux to get free Robux by playing games, downloading apps, or completing offers on the site. I recommend that you all use the link down in the description whenever you try going to the site because it's actually my referral link. You can actually tell that there's been over 4.2 million users. That's pretty big and it just keeps on growing. Also, there's been over 20 million Robux earned. So how about we get started? All you have to do is click the link account button, type in your Roblox username and voila we're actually inside this right now it's actually hooked up to our Roblox account to verify that it's us and I do not have to put in any password or anything like that now what you need to do is click right here earn points the conversion rate is actually one point equals one Robux so your goal is to earn a bunch of points so you can get your Robux I'm gonna let you guys in on a little something if you click the more button and you go down the codes it's gonna bring you to this codes page you can put in the code fusion 2500 Redeem that and it's going to give you one free bonus point. So now to actually redeem it, all you have to do is click cash out and it's going to bring you here. It already has my username in and I'm just going to do 100. And then now I can just do Timmy Lights once place. So what you want to do first is hit configure. It's going to bring you here. You want to go down to the access tab. Now you want to scroll down and you want to click allow private servers. As you can see right here, it tells me what I should actually sell my private server for. And just like that, you've just earned some Roblox from Collect Roblox. Thank you for sponsoring me, and let's get right back to the video. All right, now that we've got the ad out of the way, we're going to be getting right to the video. So I actually have a lot to showcase today, guys. But first, I'm going to show you guys a couple clips that have just been me grinding. I'm going to show you guys how it looked when I was grinding, and then we're going to talk about that after that. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, now that you guys have seen the ad and you've seen the clips of me grinding and you got a good idea of how things are, I can really start talking. So I'm sorry that you guys had to do like see so much in the first two to three minutes. Obviously, like most of it was this noob to pro, but you also had the ad and everything else. But now we're getting to the meat of the video. If you've stuck along this like, this long, uh, did I just say stuck along this long? If you've stuck around this long, thank you guys, and let's continue. So, in the last episode, I believe we was trying to do a boss mission. We didn't do that well. And uh, then the next one, we ended up doing a spin video. So, since that, I have went from like level 600, I think, 650, something like that, to 930. And the reason why it shot up so fast is if you've watched any of my tutorials, you would know. Once you hit level 800, uh, the XP boost is crazy. I just went from like level 800 to level 930 in like two boss fights. It's pretty nuts. Uh, once you get to level 800, you get like a Ryo and an XP boost, so it kind of speeds up again. But on the way to 800, it gets pretty slow. So once you get to 800, you're fine. Um, what I did was, number one, clicking log some. Obviously clicking a little bit of logs, but it wasn't enough. It was too slow. I literally auto-click for hours, and it just it's not enough, right? But I also wanted to do quest anyways, because if you hit L, you can get Ryo. As you can see, I've barely clicked the log today. I've mainly been just doing actual level up. Uh, you can see that you basically just get XP, do quests, perfect block, charge your chi. Actually, fighting is going to end up giving you more Ryo and stuff. Now, as you can see, I have a pretty good amount, but I've spent a lot too. And the reason why is because, as you can see, I have almost mastered Alpha, Raja, Alpha Rama Shizen. I need to have 50 more levels before I get the mode. I might even get that today. But I have Odin Cerbero right here, which is completely maxed out. And then I have all of the moves for Alpha Rama Shizen. And you guys were right. This is a busted bloodline. That's why I thought it was. And yes, it is. It was actually a pretty recent bloodline. But uh, it's it's pretty busted. It has super long range. It does a lot of damage. Odin Cerbero's mode is pretty solid. I don't know if Alpha Rama Shizen's mode is going to be better or not. We'll have to see. But it takes a lot more, so I'm guessing it will be. Also, I've unlocked the third move of my Kinjutsu, Crescent Haman. I'm going to go showcase what that actually looks like. I've made a decent little loadout with the stuff I have, and I'm going to explain how it works. So first off, you got the second move, Dawnbreaker, right? Now, this is the one I was using in the boss fights. It just kind of stuns them, and it stays there for a bit. 
This is the one that's that doesn't do a whole lot, but it takes you really, really fast away from the fight or towards the fight. Does a pretty good amount of damage, even without mode. And uh, then you got the newest move, which is like what? Crescent Breaker? Crescent Haman. Crescent Haman. And doesn't do anything at first, but look at that. It's a pretty decent move. I don't know what the fourth one's going to be, but I'm hoping it'll be better than even the third. But yeah, it's pretty solid. It's better than all these little element abilities. The only one I kept was the Electro Control, because it's basically just like... Uh... God, I can't even think of the name now. What's what's the name? Chidori, yeah. It's basically Chidori, and it actually does a lot of damage. It makes you faster. And then I've kept around... <clears throat> if you go to like the sub ability at the top here, I've kept around two of these moves. I had to buy this, which is Spirit Fist, because as you can see... It's an instant cast, and then also I have really good taijutsu, so it works really well. <clears throat> and then also you got the green move, which is Ryuji Axis. I don't know why my throat has something in it, but Ryuji Axis is another instant cast, but it does less damage. Um, I could go ahead and try... Oh, I need 4,000 taijutsu. Wait, I do have 4,000 taijutsu. Okay, let me try this. Uh, I'll put this in G. We'll try that next. Uh, but then uh, I'm going to show you guys what the Alpharama Shizen moves look like because there's something else too. Obviously, we still have the same sword. We need to change it eventually because it's not that great. This is the new move. This is the one I was wanting. Yeah, these moves are OP. They're instant cast. One even throws you up into the air. Really good. And now, the best part is now that I've gotten to level 900, I'm able to go to Ninja Tools and I can get the Health Stem, which is amazing. Compared to the freaking Health Pot, Health Pot's terrible compared to the Health Stem. Uh, I also have these new needles, which I can show you guys. These are like poison needles. I think you get about like level 650 or 700. Pretty good, pretty good. And then the other things is the Alpha Rama Shizen move. So first off, we have the first one, which is Bind Strike, which you guys might already know these, but it's fine. 18,000 each, long range. You got the second one, Worldling Forest. Two 7,000s. No, four 7,000s, six 7,000s. That's pretty busted. And then you got the final move, which is Roots of Ash. 8,000. As you can see, I think it actually hits multiple times. And it probably actually stuns a real person. I haven't really tried on any real people on the NPCs, though. It's really OP. That, along with Odin Saber, is already pretty good mode. I'm actually sitting up pretty high right now. Obviously, I'm not busted. My main account would easily kill this account. Like, if I was to go bring my, my main account with its tailed spirit and all of its busted moves and everything else and its higher HP. No, 100%, my main account's winning. But this is still a pretty solid account. Now, I've gotten it to the point of where I can probably kill a tailed spirit soon. I don't know about right this instant, but soon. What I really need to do is I need to work on getting some more sub abilities because this is something I am missing. I could really use 1Z mode. Like, say, I don't know any of these really just some sort of z mode would be nice and then uh god i might even get like a toad spirit isn't that a thing yeah mastered frog spirit um frog spirit awaken i might get one of these because i think that'd be pretty cool because you know naruto gets that in the show and it'd be kind of neat <laughs> warm spirit awaken uh, well, there, there's a lot of different stuff and also i'm trying to get one of these uh things to drop from the bosses like just the normal bosses because there's one move i really want and that's the rush the bomb rush it's actually really good because you use it and then you can charge with someone. It's like a ring gun. So it's really good to have. I want that. The thing is that the prices are really expensive. So I'm about to start running out of Ryo pretty soon. And that's also why I'm trying to quest as much as possible. Because I'm going to need money, like, constantly. That's a problem. Like, I'm going to need a lot of money whenever I'm doing these kind of things. Uh, my stats is what they're looking like right now. Oh, no, never mind. Let me get out of mode. That would be way too busted. Fills my face. Now, I got 4,124 Chi. So almost max Chi. Max ninjutsu, because I need max damage. Taijutsu is really high at 4,000. And my HP is almost 4,000. I think my goal is to get my HP to 4,000, and then I should be good. I should have good, good enough stats, because I'll be level 1,000, maxed out, and I don't need to rank up for a while. I might not even rank up until, like, Season 2. Season 2 is where I'm going to have a tournament arc, and that's why I'm really trying to prepare. Because there's going to be something that comes after this Noob to Pro series. After Episode 10, I'm hoping to be done with everything I need. And then I'm going to start second season, which is going to be us fighting a bunch of people in a tournament. That's going to be nuts. I'm going to have to fight a bunch of people and hopefully win. And if not win, at least make it to the top five. That's my goal. If I can at least make it to the top five, I'm good. There's probably going to be about 20 people there anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm really going to have to change my moveset around and actually upgrade a lot. Because this just ain't flying. Like, yeah, this Shidori is okay. 
But there's better. There's much better out there, obviously. Honestly, I could do a Rasengan, or I could do, like, Dual Electro. Uh, Electro Blade. Basically just Chidori. And Chidori Blades. You know, like, Double Chidori, Chidori Blade. I mean, there's... There's multiple, and I think they might have had some new ones, if I'm not mistaken. They got all these new boss drops that are probably pretty OP that I should go check out, because I'm sure they would be good. Kenjutsu looks fine for now. I don't know what the last move looks like, but hopefully it'll be good. And if I get a Tailed Spirit, I'm set, because I'm just a Tailed Spirit master on my main account. So if I get Core or something on this account, I'm busted. That's, that's really all I need. If I get that and then a couple solid moves, I'll be right back to where I'd be on my main account. But I'm not doing the same path as my main account. I want something that's different, you know? I might get, like, Ku or Sun or something, some other type of Tilt Spirit. And then I'm going to do totally different bloodlines and moves. I'm not I, My main account's like an auto-dodge account, right? It's all meant for, like, dodging people, not being killed, but then hurting them over time. Where this is going to be, like... Brute force. Like, I don't want to be hit much, but I still want to be freaking brute forcing it. I'm not going to be dodging anything. It's just going to be really OP. That's my goal. Stunning them and just destroying them. But I don't want to do a Taijutsu build or anything like that. Or one of the busted new builds. Because a lot of people use meta loadouts. That's not what I'm doing. But what you guys can do is if you're doing the same thing as me and you're just playing the game and going along, you can kind of get tips from me. Obviously, I can't guide you completely. I did see one guy. You're not going to believe this. I was in a private server earlier today and well not earlier today but other earlier yesterday and i was trying to click some logs because i was trying to get some xp and this guy joins my server he's dressed as my character he's got my character completely copied and i'm just laughing my butt off because i'm like what not only that did he he found me out of all the servers in my server at the perfect time wearing my full get up this man must have been dedicated and he's like fusion i can help you level up and i was like i have to vanish like the shadows, I don't know, I, I just kind of dipped out. Not because he was bad or anything, but just because I, I it has to be a solo run. I genuinely don't want to get help. I promise you guys, you have my word, I have not gotten any help for this at all. This has all been me. And I've done most of it on camera, maybe a little bit off camera, but a lot of it's been on, ca on camera. I'm not getting anyone's help, it's just me. That's also why people offer me help, I'm just not doing it. Now the guy being there was just cool and all, I thought it was funny that, you know, so many people actually like this. I've went to public servers, people have noticed me, people have, like, actually had this full skin. Because people copy this outfit, and they're just like, alright, I'm gonna play as, uh, Fusion Timmy, or Fusion Noob to Pro. I don't have a name for this character. I guess for now he's just Fusion Noob. I'm gonna call him Fusion Noob, that's gonna be his name for now, because I don't have, like, a... Maybe come up with the name for what this character should be called. Come up with the backstory. He's using Odin Saberu, Aferama Shizen, friggin... What is it? Like the... What kind of... What's this called again? Moonkin. Okay, I thought it was something else. It's Moonkin Jutsu. I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. But if you want to do all that, you can. I haven't come up with anything yet. But, uh, yeah. I guess it's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will be bringing more Noob to Pro soon. I'm about to be putting out a lot of content, I promise you. The problem was, I just needed to grind a lot. There was a lot of grinding needed to be had. And I've finally gotten all the boring stuff out of the way, so now I feel like I can actually start making episodes again. So, yeah. I mean, we're on, like, episode 7 now, so I'm not stopping anytime soon. See you guys later. Fusion Timmy, signing out. Wavy.